todos los instrumentos musicales tradicionales tiene su historia. Y si vas a fabricar un reciclo instrumento, pues hay que, hay que indagar un poquito en su pasado, de dónde viene, de qué cultura. Porque claro, un instrumento musical no es simplemente una máquina de producir sonidos. Está relacionado con una forma de pensar, con una forma de expresar sentimientos. La flauta de pan, the pan pipe. ¿De dónde viene? Bueno, la verdad es que viene de muchísimas partes. Hay tipos de flauta de pan en todas las culturas del mundo. Como es un instrumento bastante sencillo, se ha desarrollado de forma independiente en todos los continentes. Pero nosotros vamos a mirar al pan pipe. Y antes de empezar con el cuento, vamos a hacer unas preguntas. Fijaos en este dibujo. And now I am going to start in English. Look at this picture. Looking at this picture, what can you hear? What can you smell? What can you feel? What time of year is it? And finally, what can you see? Describe the picture. Okay, does anybody know who this creature is? Okay, this is the demigod Pan. He was son of Hermes which meant that he was also grandson of Zeus. Now, Pan was a very strange creature. As you can see from the picture, he was half goat, half man. And he didn't have many friends because nobody quite trusted him. He was incredibly emotional. So when he was happy, you could hear his laughter all over the valleys, echoing around the hills. You know, when he was happy, he would have the best parties. He was fun to be with. But very quickly, he could change moods. And when he was angry, he was dangerous. He had to get out of the way. Because when he was angry, he got really angry. And when he was sad, poof, he would cry rivers of tears. Everything that Pan felt was exaggerated. And he expressed his emotions without any limits. One day, Pan was up in the hills, like in the picture, tending his herd of goats and sheep. He was quite calm, but suddenly he looked down and in the valley he saw the most beautiful thing that he had ever seen in his life. It was a river nymph and her name was Syrinx. Pan's heart started beating faster and faster and in that moment he fell in love. He had never felt this sensation before and of course being Pan, when he felt something he had to express it. So he bellowed at the top of his voice, you are gorgeous, I love you, I want to marry you, I want to be with you forever. And he started running down the hill towards this poor little river nymph. Syrinx, this poor, sweet, pure, beautiful nymph, looked up to see this beast running down the hill towards her. And of course, what did she do? She panicked. She fled. She ran as fast as she could towards the river. But she was just a river nymph. Pan was half goat. He could run incredibly fast. And poor Syrinx realized that there was no escape. So as she got to the river bank, she prayed to the god of rivers. Who is the god of rivers in ancient Greece? Poseidon. Very good. So she prayed to Poseidon, please Poseidon, help me, help me escape from this animal. Poseidon 
saw this poor, beautiful, sweet river nymph being borne down upon by Pan, and he felt sorry for her. So, to help her, he turned her into a bed of reeds. Now, it was just at that moment that Pan had reached Syrinx, and Pan was leaping towards her with the arms open. He closed his eyes, ready to kiss, but when he opened them, instead of having Syrinx in his arms, he just had a clump of broken reeds. Pan sighed. Oh! And as his breath went into the reeds, they made this beautiful sound that matched his melancholy. Poor Pan realized that he had lost the love of his life. But to remember her always, he cut the reeds and he made a little flute, a Pan flute. And from that day on, Pan never went anywhere without his pipe. And that is how the Pan pipe was invented. And in Greek, panpipe, the word for panpipe is Syrinx, the same name as the river nymph who was converted into the reed bed. <laughs>